Before diving into the implementation details, let's first understand what exactly is a model view controller pattern. The model view controller pattern consists of three different components, the model, the view, and the controller. Let's go ahead and see each of these different components a little bit more closely. So what exactly is the model part in the model view controller? The model is basically the data. Whatever data that you have in your application, it can be considered a model. Let's take a look at an example. If you have an application that displays a to-do list, it has a text box or a text field at the top and then a nice grid list view control. But what about the data? What is the data in this application? The data in this application is basically the task. So if I have to round up all the tasks, the data will look something like this. There's no interface, there's nothing. The data is just the data. So that is the model part of the model view controller. Let's go ahead and see what exactly is the view. To simply define the view, a view is simply the user interface whatever the user sees on the screen. Let's take a look at an example. If the user sees this beautiful Pokemon game, what do you think the user interface or the view will be? Yeah, the view, the user interface, the one that the user is interacting with, that is the view. The view is not only limited to iPhone application, it's uh, MVC is a very architectural pattern, uh, so, it can be applied to web applications. It can be applied to desktop applications. So your view can be anything. Right now, it's an iPhone application with Pokemon game, but uh, it can also be some sort of a website, like Amazon website. Now your view is actually the web pages of Amazon website or any other website. View can also be an Apple Watch or some sort of a watch or some sort of a device. Anything the user can actually interact it with, that becomes the view. That is the view. The last piece of the component is a controller. The component controller is basically the middleman or the orchestrator. The job of the controller is to have a communication between the model and the view. If the model gets to display it, on the view, basically the data needs to get displayed on the view, it doesn't talk directly to the view, it talks to the controller, and then the controller will send the data to the view. So the controller is responsible for talking to the model and the controller is responsible for talking to the view. It is the job of the controller to take the model and display it on the view. So hopefully now that you understand the MVC pattern, in the next lecture I'm going to introduce you to the MVVM pattern and see that how MVVM pattern can allow us to create even more simpler view components that can be helpful when we are writing our test and writing our code for our iOS or any kind of application. So stay tuned for that.